Hey kids, welcome back to another episode. I am so happy to be with you today because we have a few cool things in store for you. So we know that you're currently at home and we know that sometimes it gets a little bit rough and you just want to maybe go to the beach, you want to see your friends, you know, you maybe want to go out. But we are going to make this even more exciting and more fun for you in your home. And here's how we're going to do it today. Firstly, we're obviously going to start with praise and worship because what else can we do is to worship Jesus because he's just so awesome. Then, I'm very excited about this part. Billy is going to share another story about Jesus. Plus, he invited another friend. Her name is Lucy and she cannot wait to meet you. So you guys are going to absolutely love it. So let's stand up and get ready for praise and worship. We're definitely going to have to stretch it out again and just get a little bit active. I know a few of you have already been jogging in your yard. You've been having so much fun, but we definitely need to get in the right spirit. We need to make sure that our body is ready to twirl around and jump around for Jesus. All right, so we're going to jog on one spot. So you can follow me. Here we go. Three, two, one. There we go. Jog a little bit. Nice. Keep on going. <laughs> Keep on going. All right, next we're going to roll the shoulders. Okay, so stop and roll the shoulder. One, two, one, two, one, two. You can throw a little bit of attitude if you want this one. Okay, but one, two, one, two. There we go. Nice. Okay, stop. And then we're going to roll forward with the arms again. So, okay, three, two, one. Roll. There we go. And then go up. And then go down. And then go up. <laughs> and then go down. Awesome. That is so much fun, kids. This is probably one of the most favorite parts of me because it's awesome and great to worship Jesus. We were created to worship Jesus. I'm pretty sure that since last weekend, you've had so much extra joy and fun in your house. And while we worship Jesus today, know again that Jesus is with you. He loves you and have fun while you worship him. So let's worship Jesus, the King of Kings, and enjoy this time together.
Wow, worship was really so much fun with you. Thanks so much for joining. You guys did great. It is absolutely awesome to worship Jesus with you where you're at. Next up, before you sit down, I'm going to ask you to grab some snacks out of the fridge. And then go and grab your favorite pillow, your blanket, and get ready. Because Billy and the new friend Lucy is going to share an awesome Bible story, which you are going to love. And by the end of this Bible story, you are going to know that Jesus is always with you, no matter what. So sit down and enjoy this awesome Bible story. Hello kids, it is so great to be with you again today. My name is Billy and today I'm going to share such a cool Bible story with you. Are you ready? Today we are... Hi Billy! Ah, oh, hey Lucy! Friends, this is awesome. This is one of my very best friends, Lucy. What are you doing here? thought I will join you today and also meet all of our other friends. I heard that you and Pastor Yandre had so much fun with them on Good Friday. I love making new friends. Oh, that is great, Lucy. Yes, we did. And you are more than welcome to join us. Actually, I was just about to tell a Bible story to our friends about the day Jesus came back to life and when he walked with two friends. Ooh, I know this story. This is the one where they were on their way to Emmaus, right? Yes, Lucy. So kids, today's Bible story is found in Luke chapter 24, verse 13 to 35. Yes, friends, and like you heard, this story is about two friends. Hey, just like you and I, Billy. Mm -hmm. These two friends were walking together, talking about everything that had happened. Jesus dying and then coming back to life, and no one knew where his body was. It was gone. Yes, Lucy. So... While these two friends were talking, suddenly a random guy started walking with them. Do you know who this guy was, kids? It was Jesus himself. But the two friends did not recognize Jesus at all. How crazy is that? So crazy. Then Jesus asked them what they are talking about. And the two friends looked all of a sudden sad. And one of them asked Jesus if he's the only one visiting Jerusalem who haven't heard what happened these past few days. Jesus then asked, what things? And the friends explained to him that Jesus is not in his tomb anymore, but he is gone. Imagine we had to share that with someone around the time. These friends still don't know that Jesus is alive and that he is actually with them. Because according to them, they haven't seen him yet. What happened next then, Lucy? Then Jesus explained to them things about himself. But these two friends still did not realize that it was Jesus who was walking with them. Then. As these friends came to the village, they asked Jesus if he wanted to have dinner with them because it was almost evening and Jesus did so. And kids, here's where everything changed. Yes, in these two friends' house is where they realized who Jesus was. They realized it when Jesus actually did this. While they sat at the table, Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and began to give it to them. Then, at that moment, they realized that it was Jesus. Their eyes were open, and then Jesus disappeared. They were so excited that they immediately got up and returned to Jerusalem. 
found the eleven disciples and the other people with them and told them about Jesus. They saw Jesus. Wow, what a cool story! Jesus walked with his friends without them even knowing that Jesus was with them. And they had dinner with him as well. That must be awesome to have dinner with Jesus. Billy, I know. Kids, here's what we want you to know through this story. Jesus is always with you. You might not always see him, feel him, or sense him, but Jesus is with you every second of every day, just like he was with these two friends. Wow! That really gives me so much comfort knowing that Jesus is always with me. This means that I'm never ever alone. Even when I feel scared or sometimes lonely, I can be 1,000, 10,000 percent certain that Jesus is with me. Yes, Billy. Jesus is just so awesome and great that he would do that for us. This was great being with you and meeting new friends today. It was awesome having you with us. Thank you so much so for joining us today, kids. See you soon. Bye. Bye, kids. Wow, wasn't that an awesome story told by Billy and Lucy? And it, plus, isn't it great that we get to meet another cool friend, Lucy? So, kids, Lucy already summed it up beautifully, and I'm just going to quickly say it again. Isn't it great to know that Jesus is always with us? Throughout the story, these two friends did not even know that Jesus was walking with them. Like, how crazy is that? That's amazing. And then when Jesus started breaking bread and blessing the bread, they realized that this is Jesus who just died, came back to life. It's the same day that he came back to life. He's sitting in my lounge. He's eating with me. Like that must be so amazing and cool. And kids know this, that whenever you're feeling lonely, whenever you go to bed, know that Jesus is always with you. He says in his word that he will never leave us and he will never, ever, ever forsake us. That is a promise that he has made to you. And we all know that Jesus never breaks promises. He's the promise keeper and we can hold on to that. So kids, while you're running around in the lounge or while you're running to the kitchen because you want to get an extra snack, maybe when you go to bed, maybe you're playing outside, whatever you're doing during this week, know that Jesus is with you every single second and you can talk to him every single second of every day whenever you want to i think that is awesome because that brings me so much comfort to know that jesus is always there i might feel alone but jesus is there for me and he comforts me and he guides me and he's really there and to know that he chose to do that he chose to be with you because he loves you that is really awesome Great kids, thank you so much for joining again for another episode of Victory Kids Online. We really, really miss you. We cannot wait to give you a high five, fist bump and a hug when we see you back at church in a few weeks. But for now kids, next week we are starting with a brand new series called Go. This series is where Jesus has given you a specific mission to complete. You are a secret agent in God's family and you have a mission to complete. You're going to know, man, that I am a son and daughter of God. Plus, he has given me a mission and it's super easy and I get to make a difference in someone else's life. That is really cool. So for now, kids, we will see you back next week for another episode. Keep safe. Know that we are praying for you, we love you, and we cannot wait to hear what Jesus is doing in and through your life during this time. So for now, kids, we'll see you next week back for another episode. Bye! Bye.